Guys, something new arrived this week. You can see it in the background. It's not Ada barking. <laughs> She's going mad. What have we got over here? So, here from Mirafit is one parcel, and we have another one right here. And this will be a lap pull down at some point, or rather, a high, mid, and low pulley. probably spent about the past hour hour and a bit maybe trying to build build it and this is where we're at so far it's actually looking pretty damn near done uh, just hasn't got any of the cables all rooted into it which I'm a bit nervous about so this is probably where it will go I think I will get rid of this stuff here so then it can just yeah go in this corner it is a bit high it's I think it's seven it's seven foot so it's like the same height as the door I think that actually wouldn't be able to go out the door so I'm already thinking about when we move and this not being easy to get out but yeah it's looking decent Charlotte is gonna be really angry so I just got pretty angry the uh, the instructions on this lap pull down are terrible there's literally no instructions they don't tell you like they don't write out what to do you're just left to some really poorly printed images to try and work out what to do and it took me quite a few tries I lost one little piece of um, I don't know building equipment because I basically tightened a load of stuff up and then had to realize I couldn't do that because I couldn't thread the cable through and as I was taking it apart one of the plastic I don't know things that are gonna hopefully not make a big impact on things, fell down into the crevice of the uh, lap pull down. So I'd have to take apart the whole thing to be able to try and get it out. But hopefully it's gonna be okay. I have set it up, I just need to tighten everything up now. I wanna put this here in get Charlotte's first reaction. <laughs> but not I know. Why just say it, what? Because of this. You haven't even seen it yet. Oh, I heard you say something to her now about I had taken up room in here. Fucking up Steve. But it's not even funny. Oh, I'm not even looking at it. Here we have the finished product. And it was a fright pen in the ass to get all these done. But it's finally. Finally here, it's a little bit stiff. So, I have a solution. Apparently, you can make your own WD-40 or own lubricant by mixing three parts oil to one part water. So in here, I have 15 mils of sunflower oil and it's actually a bit more than five mils of water. And I'm gonna spray this over it a little bit. And hopefully that does the job. So something really cool happened over the last few weeks and that was a book has been being worked on by Brad Schoenfeld and that is his um, updated book on the, I think it's something like the scientific principles of muscle hypertrophy. It's not that, but it's something along the lines of that. And I had his previous one, which I couldn't believe how long it had been out for, but he offered me a complimentary one and that is what I believe I'm going to discover is in this box. So let's have a look. See. Oh. Here we go. Ooh. That's a good looking look. Oh, yeah. 
very, very nice. Hard copies, always lovely to have. So my dear friend, Greg Potter, as you guys know, has been working on something recently, and that's to do with nuts. And nut butters specifically, like this one right here. And they've developed this product called Long Range Fuel. And they have some with protein in, they have some with uh, caffeine in, and they have some that are just plain nut butters. And they sent me a bunch of pouches to try, which have been excellent. So right now, on my primer phase, this is ideal because I can have lots of fat. So here, I have a bunch of this cinnamon flavored one over these corn thins, which is just delightful, really. I don't know what this vlog really was. Um, lots of new things, such as this, coming into my life. Um, I tried some nut butters and I got a really cool book, which I was really, really chuffed about. Um, and I guess if there was a moral to the story of this episode was that like I'm already halfway through my deload of my primer phase and to think probably a lot of you would be like how the hell have you already finished your primer phase? I've already finished three weeks of hard training. I'm already halfway through a deload. Time flies. So whenever you are worried ever about, I don't know, a cut seems like it's never ending or you're worried about a deload or a primer phase, maintaining, you're like, oh my gosh, it's so much time, I'm gonna like, waste away, or whatever it might be. Remember, time flies, literally flies, uh, and so much goes on, and you'll be over and done with in no time. So I think a lot of the time, even I can think of going on holiday, for example, I'll be a bit nervous, a bit anxious about being away from like, work, Instagram even, um, and, away from my training, my usual routine, and I'll be a bit uncomfortable. After a few days, I'm like, this is fine. Just like probably this whole uh, C19 uh, that's been going on, it was very uncomfortable at first, but I've almost got into comfort with it. I'm almost now comfortable with that uncomfortable thing, and that's kind of, obviously, it doesn't even make sense, like being comfortable with the uncomfortable. Well, if the uncomfortable is comfortable, it was never uncomfortable, but you kind of know what I mean. So just know, I guess, the moral of the story here is time goes on. A week, a month, in the long-term scheme of things, like if you're injured or if you are going on holiday, you can't train, you're going through a primer phase deload, whatever it is, a rest day, for example, some people get stressed about rest days, know that time flies by, that that moment in time in the entirety of your training career in your life is so small and things just keep ticking on and the world goes round. So yeah, that's the moral of the story this time, guys. I imagine like in a few months time, we'll look back at this period of time where Steve was crazy and bought like almost a home gym and <laughs> spent all this money and like, made Charlotte really angry. It's not even funny. And uh, yeah, now he trains a, a fully equipped gym and they'll never use this stuff. Maybe that will happen, maybe it won't. But I imagine down the line, we'll look back at this and be like, wow, that felt really huge and really long at the time. But now looking back, it was nothing. Anyway, guys, as always, thank you so much for tuning in. It's going to get exciting from here because I'm going to start massing. I'm going to be able to use this piece of kit to do some cool stuff. And uh, I'm going to be massing from home. And I'm excited, very excited to get into that.
Revive stronger, take care, and stay strong. Thanks.